So it is Tuesday the 5th of April 2022 and I have been commissioned to do a little mandala about 80 centimetres in diameter so I'm using my generic mandala design and I've taken off the smaller mandala that I used during the lockdown which is also found on my wall, my mandala wall downstairs um, my friend Colette Warby, a fantastic silversmither, jewellery maker, has commissioned me to do this. So I am thinking this is the starting point, but this is not going to be the finishing point. So um, she really likes the lime green turquoise combination and she really likes gold as well. So um, that's going to be my starting point, but I've got other colours as well. There's another different combination, but there's also darker ones like these lovely Metro tiles. Um, it's going to be on mesh, on fibreglass mesh. Um, however, it will be put onto a Marmox board or similar uh, so I'm going to get hold of that at some point soon. So that's the plan. And then applied um, as a as a freestanding mosaic, as it were, so that she can hang it up and then take it down during the winter. So I've got some lovely combination of tiles and crockery here. So this is the starting point and this is what I'll be using, you see. So it's Mango Mosaics over and out. See you soon. So it's Wednesday the 6th of April 2022 and uh, I've been cutting and placing and sorting this morning. It's about 8.30 now. Um, I've just glued these little bits and pieces. Let's give you a close up so you can see it. There you go. And what I'm going to do now, you see, is cut up some shapes because I've got these shapes to cut up now. So what I'm doing is just move this camera over half, move it down a bit. What I'm doing is cutting up this tile so that I can fit it all the way around. So that'll be the first colour, this little light turquoise, I would call it a tealy turquoise. Now, as you can see, I've got a pattern already cut up there. Now, what I've done is I've used a scruffy piece of plastic, cellophane, and I've traced it on one of the triangles on the pattern. And I've then imprinted it with, with by using just a normal pen, imprinted it onto a sheet of paper. And that's my template. So what I then did was traced it onto the plastic, popped it back onto the tile so that I've got my first uh, piece to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down a little bit for you. There you go. No editing required. <laughs> so... I'm just going to cut up because somebody did say to me in the last film, you know, I'd really like to see you work. So I was thinking, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is not explain too much, but show you. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. So goggles on, gloves on. And it'll be pretty obvious then what I'm doing. Um. I'm, up, I'm going to put another link below, I should think, um, on the YouTube channel so that you can see um, another another video on how to cut a shape. Um, so I'm using my Toya glass scorer 
and and uh, the ruby score snapper. So let's get on to first cutting. That's the first shape. Let's see if it fits. I just uh, double check. Yeah. Okay. So this could be my template for the rest of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a bit of a zigzag. So I'm going to, you know, that's that's where the tile was, where the shape was, and I'm going to turn it round. Of course, you know, I could um, score and snap so that I change each one so it fits. Now as you can see, uh, when I score snap one, I'm using the t side biter for the other, but that's because there's not much wriggle room or purchase with the paddle of the score snapper to cut it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do another one for you and then I'll uh, see if I can do one from a different angle. Okay. It's always good to use the original template because incrementally it might get bigger than I've said before. Want to go closer, but you can't see that. <laughs> okay. Right. I find it very difficult to do things for you. I want to do it myself, you see. So that's three of them. Let's just pause this. Right. So um, with these three, I can place them down. Now, I, obviously, I can rearrange everything so that it fits, and then I can reshape. So I can trim them down a little bit more. The one in the middle is the original, of course. The other two are looking a little bit lopsided, um, you know, as you can see. So I'm going to shape those in a second. So I'm just going to carry on working here and you can watch me. Um, when people say, oh, it'd be really good to watch you, I don't know, I like to put music on. And with YouTube, you can't put music on in the background because they don't like it for copyright reasons, you see. So, and I understand that. So, uh, you have to imagine some Fleetwood Mac or 
Elton John or uh, Kate Bush or something. <laughs> Alright, let's get my gloves on. make this a little bit further so just in case you can't see it I think I'm just going to do this one and then I'll carry on on my own. I need to concentrate on this really. I don't know which angle. The trouble with I don't have a filmmaker over my shoulder. I'm my own filmmaker, ladies and gentlemen. It's all a one woman show. It might feel like there's hundreds of people, but no. I'll do. Right, working out nicely. And the other colours I'm going to use this lovely light green and this lush lime green. So it's a light lime green there. So I'm going to do a triangular, well, diamond shape, and then I'm going to do a darker diamond shape and I love I love these metro tiles because they have a facet and I like using them because when the light catches you can see there um, it gives a bit of texture so that's why I like using it you see so there we go see you soon Okay, friends, it is Thursday the 7th of April 2022, and here's the work so far. I've done a lot in the last two days. I've cut up and shaped, as you know, all these gorgeousness, and um, I've just glued these gorgeousness down, very iridescent, very gold. Uh, my friend Colette gave me these extra bits and pieces which I think come from I can give you the website uh, Mosaic Stein I'll put the link below uh, it looks like it's a German company so there's all sorts of gorgeous shapes misshapes and stuff like that but they're proper gold yummy yum shiny shiny so it'll hit the light beautifully now Colette's husband Kane is from Niue uh, a small Polynesian island um, 
in the Pacific. So these are the gorgeous power shells that she's given me in his honour. So he also comes, he, he's also lived in, I don't know if he was born there, but he might have been born in Niue and then moved to uh, New Zealand. All these facts I don't know. Um, but all these, look at these gorgeous, and they're beautiful. Don't we love a power shell? Yummy yum. So there's all sorts of beautiful different thicknesses and shapes and sizes. Can you see that one? It's kind of heart-shaped, that one at the bottom. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> lost it. I've lost it. Oh, well, never mind. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I've got these lovely, very generic, very, very, very basic, but very handy and useful thick little um, pat fair, I think it's called, pat de terre, I don't know, um, I'll, I'll find out and put it on the list below, um, tiles, so they're 20, cent 20 millimetres thick, and what I tend to do when I've got very low crockery or very thin tiles, I'll, I'll put a little thickness by um, adding them to uh, the tessera. So what I've got here, as you can see, is a little power shell gorgeousness, and I'm gluing it down with my Rumar Flexi Fix. So dead easy, it sticks like glue, ha <laughs> ha, and and then I'll plonk it on and glue it onto the mesh. So when it comes to grouting, they have an equal equal height to the other tessera so it won't be buried down so what I tend to do is use my montelits to cut up the um, tile tessera so that it fits properly you see so that for example if I've got a small little gorgeousness there I'll just plonk it on there like so and glue it down so that's the job I'm going to do next, so I will speak to you soon. Bye. So it is Sunday the 10th of April 2022 and I'm going to do a bit of prep for tomorrow's grouting. So this is Colette's commission as you well know. I finished off with the edges on Friday I think I did. Um, I've added PowerShell um, with a little bit of uh, height underneath from the little tiles that I had, you know, these um, these tiles here. Um, they give a little bit of height and they're solid and they're external grade as well. So um, I've added that on and I've added a bit of height on these ones as well. So the next plan of action is to make sure I know where the top is. So I'll put a T at the top here um, and then cut it with a sharp knife. I will then place it onto the board here. This is the board. This is a Marmox board. This um, kind of like six mil in uh, and, um, six mil in thickness, and then cut it up. And that's that's what uh, sixty centimeters in diameter looks like. But I think it's slightly smaller, as you can see. And then once I've cut it up and it measures up properly. I'll put the T-nut system in. This is a T-nut system that you would press into the Marmox board. And then at the back, you put the washer, the hanging system, and the screw in place. Um, so it's perfect thickness. 
Um, thank you very much, Rachel Davis, my friend Rachel Davis Mosaics. I'll put a link below of her website. She does beautiful work with slate and small tea and gorgeousness. Uh, she lives in Stirling in Scotland. So beautiful, very kind of you to send this to me. So I'm going to hang that in. And then I'll add tile adhesive onto the board and then apply it, apply the mosaic onto the board, wait for it to dry and tomorrow I will grout it. So that's the plan. See you soon. So it is Monday the 11th of April 2022 and I'm ready to grow out this mama. So I've attached this gorgeous mosaic onto Marmox board with my Balmax Flex Fibre external grade in white and we're all ready to rock and roll with the grouting and I'm obviously going to use my favourite Ultra Colour Plus by Mappe. 144 chocolate. So onward and upward, here I go, time to ground. Bye. So 10 minutes later, I have completely grouted all the surface. What I'm doing now is just very carefully with my rubber kidney. This is a rubber kidney. Um Scraping off excess that that can be scraped off very carefully. Don't want to take away all the grout. <laughs> so um, the next stage is to make a cup of tea, wait for this to cure a bit, and then uh, clean it up bit by bit. Now the glass bits, the areas where I've got glass, like here, well, might take a little bit longer because they are non-porous. So uh, whereas the central bit, particularly all this beautifully cut <laughs> mosaic, uh, will take less time to cure. So it'd be interesting to see how it all looks particularly with all the power shell. So I'm going to very carefully just carry on taking away the excess, scraping that off. It's always good to have extra grout anyway, just in case I've got little holes. But, you know, it's a half an hour pot life, this, uh, this grout. So even though it takes uh, half an hour before it starts going off, um, once it's on the mosaic, I do feel that it's still sculpturally workable for the next um, hour, I would suggest, depending on whether I'm using just glass or a mixture of ceramics and glass related items. So anyway, I'm going to carry on. It's a bit addictive. OK, see you soon. Bye. So friends, I have grouted the mosaic and cleaned it up and this is what it looks like now. So I'm really pleased with it. It's looking very sparkly, but it's going to be more sparkly when it's going to be hung up outside um, in Colette's garden outside her studio. So the plan is I am going to go over tomorrow and we're going to hang it up and to see what it looks like. So the next photos will be of us together in her garden. 
See you soon. So it's Tuesday the 3rd of May 2022 and as you can see the mosaic has now been installed on the wall. Look at that. Can you see the colours? It's so lush and juicy with the light falling on it. And I think I think our Colette's pleased with it. Aren't you Colette? Talk to me. Well I'm really thrilled with it. And although I'm a craftsperson myself, I'm a real believer in letting the person who's doing the job do the job, rather than me try and project manage it. So Caroline really just kind of worked on colours that I'd said I liked the idea of, plus the inclusion of the the power shell, oh, which yeah. we've got in New Let's Zealand. Have a close up of that. Yeah, it just looks so good. Um. And then it was really, I, I was just wanted to not be involved in the design at all because I'd love Caroline's work anyway. So I didn't want to kind of like water that down with my ideas. So, um, and once the sun gets on that, it's just going to look incredible. So yeah, absolutely thrilled. <laughs> I'm so pleased that you're pleased because, you know, We've been thinking about this, ladies and gentlemen, for years. I mean, actually, quite literally, four years. Um, and we'd been thinking about swapsies because our Colette is a jewellery designer and maker. So, and she does beautiful silver works, gorgeous. And look, I've made myself a bangle today. Can you see? Can you see? And this is from our Colette teaching me. I don't know how... Ah, oh, there we are. Look, it's all in focus now. But there was a lot of work that went into it. I think there's a, probably about three hours worth of work on yeah, it. Yeah, three, three to four hours. Wow. So I'm really pleased. So, yes. Yeah, so we've had. I've had a workshop and some jewellery, and she's had some mosaic. So you never know. There might be some more swapsies. Anyway. See you soon. Bye.